Welcome back. A powerful Republican from the state of Texas continues making headlines all across the state. We're talking about Speaker Dade Phelan, who's in a battle not only to keep his top job in the state house, but also just to get reelected. Our political reporter Jack Fink is here now. So, Jack, Phelan was in Dallas this week. What did he say about his chances of keeping his job? Well, Karen and Doug, Speaker Dade Phelan told me this week that he's extremely confident he'll win his runoff May 28th and that he'll remain as Speaker next year. Phelan spoke with me and other reporters after an official event this week at UT Dallas. He said he has a path to victory over his primary challenger, David Covey, who's being backed by Attorney General Ken Paxton, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and former President and Republican frontrunner for President Donald Trump. Those three have criticized Phelan for allowing the impeachment against Paxton to take place in the House. Phelan appeared at UT Dallas with Governor Greg Abbott, who has stayed on the sidelines of this primary battle and has not endorsed Phelan. And today we learn both Phelan and Abbott will appear together again for what's described as a major announcement at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston this Tuesday. Reporters asked Phelan how he felt about Abbott not backing his reelection bid. No, I'm not, I'm not in any way um, you know, disappointed at all. Those are the big three. You know, typically, we stay out of each other's races. That's been the tradition here in the state of Texas. Of course, the lieutenant governor decided not to follow that tradition. He crossed that Rubicon, um, and that's, that's, his, that's his issue going forward with the Texas House. Another Republican House member, Dr. Tom Oliverson of the Houston area, has announced he will also run to become Speaker of the House. The race really becomes more intense after the November election, and House members will vote on a new Speaker when they are sworn in in January. Phelan took a verbal shot at Ken Paxton, too. And also this week, Democrats are making abortion rights a political issue this November, nationally and here in Texas. Republican State Senator Brian Hughes of Tyler, who wrote the state's abortion laws, is responding. What he says coming up on Ion Politics at 7.30 this Sunday morning here on CBS News Texas, on air and streaming. We hope you join us this and every Sunday.